There is fallout tonight, including a police apology and disciplined officers after new body cam video is released showing the arrest and tasing of Chicago native NBA player Sterling Brown. Brown says he's using this video to draw attention to what he says are situations like this and worse that happen every day in the black community. CBS 2's Audrina Vegas shows us the video. Around 2 a.m. on January 26, outside of Milwaukee Walgreens, the body cam video starts with an officer waiting for Sterling Brown to walk to his car. Can you explain this to me? I'm not parked across, coach. parked across two. You have an entirely empty parking lot, and you parked across two. The officer calls for backup. When other officers arrive on scene, you can see Brown standing near his car. It escalates when one of the officers shouts for Brown to take his hands out of his pockets. A scuffle breaks out. Brown is tased, and then you hear him moaning on the ground. That use of force in question. Our department conducted an investigation into the incident, which revealed members acted inappropriately, and those members were recently disciplined. During the 30 minute video, Brown's demeanor appears to contradict the narrative police gave in their initial report, saying Brown was very aggressive and physically resisted the officer's attempts to handcuff him. Brown says in a statement Situations like mine and worse happen every day in the black community. Being a voice and a face for people who won't be heard and don't have the same platform as I have is a responsibility I take seriously. Milwaukee's mayor says the video raises concerns about the officer's conduct. It was a disturbing video when I saw it, and I know the police chief feels the same way. Brown went on to say he is speaking for Laquan McDonald of Chicago and other black men who were killed by police or who died in police custody. Brown was booked, not charged, but he does plan to file a civil rights lawsuit against the Milwaukee Police Department. And Robin Erica, the Milwaukee Bucks, released a really strong statement saying the treatment he received was both shameful and inexcusable. Pretty, uh, pretty severe stuff there in term, terms of what you saw and heard, right? It is. He said something that could have been a traffic violation or a parking violation turned into this. Okay. Audrina, thank you.